How well, you feel about, about Bronny Bez and how the media portrays him? <laughs> I think they should just chill out on the whole, he's better than this guy, or look at this rookie that no one's talking about. He's doing much better. It's just like, he. the only reason his name's in the media like that is because of his name, Bronny James, right? Yeah. If he was any other 55th overall pick, no one would be caring about it too much. You know, the fact that he's playing with his dad is a cool thing, legendary thing. Obviously, we got to pay respects to the fact that's never been done before. But I also think you should just let the kid play and stop putting all these headlines on him because, like, even as a pure basketball fan, as someone who doesn't care about, like, the, the headlines and stuff, I'd rather see them talk about something else. You know what I mean? Like, no, I don't really care about Bronny and, you know, oh, he has averaging two points a game. Like, he's not supposed to be some Hall of Fame player, right? It's just like, yeah. the I think they need to, to chill out with the story uh, narratives. But it's cool that he's playing with his dad, though. We still got to acknowledge that. Yeah, I agree with you. Like, seeing – like Bleacher Report posts this stat line of like zero points or negative 40. They put the PR. boom and doom guy next to him, like <laughs> in the preseason. St- I understand that from like crazy, Hater man. Central and like Brick Muse or whatever, like them doing that. <laughs> it's funny to like journalism. hate on that. But yeah, uh, being Bronny and being put in that position just makes his NBA career more difficult because every single game is going to be under a microscope. He wasn't even like highly touted as a player just because he's LeBron's son. And sadly, it's going to continue, like, from opening night to uh, end of the season. Even if he's, if, he, if he's in the G League, we'll see his G League stats and how bad or good they are. Yeah. But the positive about it is if he does perform well, I mean, it's like he'll be plastered all over social media and his he'll grow, I guess, and he'll get the recognition for it. But he just has to put in the work and show it. So. He already is humor. plastered, us. He already is plastered everywhere, bro. I see his misses. Yeah, but for negativity, though, true. not for nothing yeah, positive. Exactly. Well, he's not doing anything amazing, and they keep they keep shoving like his negativity down my for you page, bro. I don't like it. I don't like. Yeah, it. just let him develop, bro. Like he's supposed exactly. to be like three years away from being relevant with the way, like the way where he was drafted and everything. Any normal second round pick. Look at Max Christie. He's his third year, and now he's finally contributing. Like. Every second round pick shouldn't be expected to come in and contribute yeah, right away. Be like Jokic or something. Like yeah. every second round pick should be developed into an NBA player, but it's hard to develop when you have such a microscope on your talent. Like that's yeah. what sucks. That's what I hate for him. Yeah, oh, so yeah. he might even might he's not even be as good as he could so, be. So mentally, the question like, is, uh, Hassan, uh, if he's under a microscope, is he going to crack under pressure or is he going to flourish? Uh, I think he's going to crack on it. I just don't think the talent is there at an NBA level. To to be honest, yeah. like. I don't think Even the town's there. Developed. I don't think his body's there. Like a lot of stuff is like yeah. not. It's it's not in his favor. Like the he best can do he all could the stuff be he like is Drew Holiday, and that's probably like the longest shot. Of yeah, longest dude, shot. I don't even see him. I don't even see him like in a real a real game scenario, like contributing in like a G League team. And G League is like shit. You know what I mean? Like no, like I he, think best case scenario. I said this before. Miles McBride just point back a point guard off the bench. <laughs> But that, like that's realistic, get, you're laughing, though. but that's a good yeah. comparison. That's a that's realistic yeah, like no. he should try to be that. That's a because ceiling. That's a good ceiling for Drew Holiday. Is not happening, unfortunately. Yeah, people just still don't like see it. compare him to his father, and he won't be a good NBA player at the end of the day, even if he's exactly that, like a back good backup point guard. The best Unless he's like a multi-time All Star, he's that. just gonna be worse than his dad, no matter what. Like it's just yeah. how it is. Yeah, There's nothing that, he can do in his life that's better than LeBron. Yeah, we just say stop uh, taking too much account in the preseason. Are you going to just say that he's never going to be nothing? Like, we can just say we'll wait and see whether or not the pressure gets to him, whether or not he can develop in the way he's supposed to. You know what I mean? Like, a lot of people just saying like more than a range of outcomes of what he could be. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just saying like, I think that I know I think that is like a long shot. I would say to become a Drew Holiday, but it's just like I'm not going to say oh, looking at the preseason. He'll never ever be that. Like you know what I mean? I'm not gonna no. judge at the preseason. I'll say this. I'll say this though. Uh when I was watching uh Christy two or three years ago in the last two or three years, I liked what I saw from his like sample to know like, oh, I, I know, I know what he's gonna do in like two to three years. I know he's he's not gonna be an all star, but he's gonna contribute in defense, you know, playmaking off the ball, shooting. And he's doing that now. Shit. He's doing mm-hmm. that now. But I just don't like have it like the word is hope. I don't have the hope for Bronny. To, to get Christie's shown like, way yeah. more than Bronny has, like in the few minutes that he did play. Christie's shown way more. You know what I mean? I wonder what the rotation is going to be because apparently Sham said that uh, we're going to expect to see Bronny opening night. With okay, opening night means like one minute, bro. Like, yeah, what are you talking that's about? That's probably what it means. He, apparently, he's in the rotation. Bro, no, a not, minute is not rotation. A minute's like get off the bench, bro. Yeah, I'm well, pretty sure it's just for like, the fact of like history. I don't think they're actually going to play him unless they're up. Yeah, down down by the I hate right after, bro. Now, like, this is some kind of why I don't like Bronny being on the Lakers. Yeah, you get them 
like historical of him and his dad, but then like we just see him just get glorified for just being with his father and like stuff that he's normal not, players don't or normal treatment players really don't his get like, him playing opening night. No player. Player. Pick. his level should ever be playing opening night or ever get ever getting like oh we should have a real like, player instead of brought like he should be like one of those like i mean he, we picked him up and gave him a contract whatever but like <laughs> could have used another player i mean Apparently it's fine the warriors wanted him g league two-way yeah. whatever yeah yeah but like, i don't know him, I he should not be getting like, his opening night but I, I say it's good to get it out the way because every other game, if you don't do it, people are going to be like, brawny, brawn, yeah, put in brawny. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, do it the first game. People will be satisfied. And obviously he's not going to, unless he goes in there and hits like three threes or something, like no one's going to be s- s- slamming a table for him to play <laughs> 10 minutes a game or something. Yeah. But uh, other than brawny, how do you feel about like JJ Redick and what you've seen from preseason games so far, rotations and stuff? I think we should talk about that when we get to the Lakers for the Western Conference. You think it's it's uh, affected your standings? I think it ha- well a little bit. I feel a little more safer with where I put them, but I I still I'm not that confident if that makes any sense. You know, so yeah, like yeah. I feel like the range is less variable than I thought it was before the season. Yeah, I actually like um, from what I've seen his like confidence in coaching and what his For belief sure. is. Apparently, like he's a basketball and like not nerd, but he pays attention to detail a lot and shows cases that to his players. From what I've seen, and that's why they're like hyped or paying more attention than last year with Darvin Ham. <laughs> well said, I agree. 